Hey, Shannon. Hey, guys. Hey. Man, good timing. I'm puzzle piecing <laughs> this old baseboard trim. There's like three or four different layers oh. of it, and I'm salvaging what I can. I think I'm missing parts, even from the stuff that I'm salvaged. I don't know if you guys can help me out. I'm sure we can. I'm trying to recreate the baseboard trim and the wainscoting that we have in the dining room area. Oh, I see. Okay, like this over here is wainscoting. This is the baseboard we're trying to match. This is what they would call a buildup. Yeah. It's not one piece of base molding, it's several, several pieces. We're gonna go check out, see what we got. We'll, we'll be right back. back. I think we got just what you need, a come bearing gifts. Uh, did you guys get everything? I think so. Whoa, dude. Oh. Look out, Tony. Oh, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> oh, I will salvage it. Yeah, mwah, it mwah, mwah. Shannon actually has a room in this house full of the components that she's deconstructed off of these walls. And every time I tell her there's something that I need, she just runs back into that room and then comes out with it. Okay, another piece. It's going to have to be trimmed down here, but you can get 27 or so inches out of okay. that one. And this one, about 19. So we're going to be taking these pieces, we're going to cut them up nice and straight and patchwork them together to create one long piece. I recommend that we make scarf cuts on the ends of these, which is a little 15 degree angle. And then when we put them together, we should probably dab some glue, put them together, and then nail them up. Let's get these cleaned up. Safety first. We don't have a lot of this base, and we're you reusing everything that we can. This one's got a crack in it, so I'm going to try to put some glue on here. Clamp to the rescue. Oh, yes. My clamp hands are getting tired. <laughs> So to start, we have to use a half inch spacer against the wall. So we're gonna do that first with like a piece of scrap half by four that we had laying around. And then across the top of it, we're gonna put our half by six. And then the middle will go that kind of that profile, this one right here, this profile right here. And that'll go in the middle. So Tony's gonna to nail that up to the wall and then we'll put the half by six up next. There's one right there. So we're gonna start with this small piece, this little four or five inch piece into the corner uh, with a scarf cut. And then our next piece, we'll go into that. We're gonna put a little bit of glue on there. Look at that beautiful grain. Well, Shannon, what do you think? I love it. <laughs> this is a classic project of not being afraid to deconstruct all of the old and then replace it with something new. Shannon, saving this old base trim would have cost a fortune to try and reproduce today. There certainly is a little bit of love and patience and care and attention that's gonna be required. A little bit of sanding, some caulking, some painting. This is gonna look exactly like it did 100 years ago when it was installed the first time. Which is exactly what I wanted to do from day one. It looks great. Well, we're glad we could help. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. That's Redo with Q. Oh my gosh. We wanna know what you're building. Make sure you tell us down below.